We talked about the Vice Bundle by Softube in several videos. I actually have an in-depth mastering course on the DS1 MK2. And if you follow the channel and even more our IG account, you see me using that and the EQP1 and the DSer in pretty much all my masters. But in many one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students and a bunch of comments, I realized that maybe a lot of people don't know about these great hidden features of the Vice DSer that make it, well, probably the number one DSer out there for both mixing and mastering. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugin special offers and discount. And at the time this video is released, the vase bundle is on sale. And if you want to support the channel, but most important, if you really want to learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button, become a Mix Best TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses on so many different genres, mastering courses, special videos, and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, you feel like grabbing some cool merch, we have mugs, t-shirts, shirts, hoodies, pillows, all down below. Vice DS, Mastering DSer by Softube. We've seen this one when we presented the entire bundle here on the channel. You know this is arguably my favorite mastering bundle for clean, precise, and focused control. And in past videos and mastering courses for members, we've seen the basic controls. We have two bands, two separate thresholds, and of course, for each one, the range, which is the maximum amount of gain reduction that we want that specific band to apply. Mid-side mode, monitoring option, all that is on the main GUI. But I was surprised to see how many people didn't know and didn't notice this little arrow here. If we click this, we have a whole bunch of controls that make this DSer probably the best DSer out there overall and for mastering. And I noticed that probably many people didn't know about this in-depth panel because a bunch of people told me I like the Vice DSer, but it's either too much or too little. And I was like, why are you not using the mix knob? You have a mix knob. And they were like, where? Well, it's in this panel along with a whole bunch of other controls. Let's take a look at it. So let's close this and let's try to DS these vocals just using the front controls. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further. Okay, right now I'm of course exaggerating. Let's do a quick with and without. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. With? All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Okay, right now the action of the DSer is way too much, is noticeable. I could just lower the range and just limit this to like 3, 4 dB. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Which could work, but just to show you the controls, so let's leave it all the way down. I'm opening here the in I'm opening here the in-depth panel and here we have parallel mix. So this is the easiest way. When you feel like it's too much, try the parallel mix. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. About 50% sounds much better already. And next to it, you can see that for each filter, lower being the one on the left and the high being the one on the right, you have attack, release delay, release fast, release average, release low, ratio, soft knee, and makeup gain. Basically, you have the control of the DS1 and K2, and I think more even, but targeted just for the S in. And this is the kind of detail control that you need in mastering and you want. It's not the kind of control that is overkill and you never use. This, I actually always always use this panel to fine tune the DSer in my masters. Let's start with the soft knee slider. Seeing that the soft knee somehow lowers the threshold, even if it's not that straightforward, we're gonna set the threshold to just grab the top. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. We catch just a little bit, but you will see if I turn the soft knee up, let's say 60%. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. We catch a lot more and the curve is more gentle, which for example, for a vocal or even a master, you might want to have, okay? Let's leave it at 50%. Then we have the attack. This is another parameter that I play with, especially in mastering. And we'll try an example on a, on a full mix. So by default is around three milliseconds, 3.15 milliseconds. The faster it is, the more it's gonna choke those S's and heart consonants. The slower it's gonna be, the less artifacts are gonna be there and the more natural the action will sound, but also some of them could still be too much. Let's try. All the way fast. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. 
Let's go slower. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Right? You see the difference and you hear the difference. All the way fast, it catches those asses and it just choke them, which sometimes is what you want. The slower the attack, the more natural it is. Then you have the release fast, the release average, and the release slow. Basically, this the Esser has three different release settings, fast, average, and slow. Self-explanatory, all right? By default is fast, average, and slow all at five milliseconds. And this in mastering something that you might wanna change. For example, for the slow, I like a slower release. And the average, let's do 15 milliseconds. And for the fast, I'm going even slower. Let's do three. All right, and let's see how it works now. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse. You see from the gain reduction meter how much slower is the release. And a slower release will create less artifacts. Let's try on a full mix. This track by artist Young Hustler called Focus that I mastered, I think, a couple of weeks ago. This is the mix, not the master. If you want to hear the final product, I'll put the link down below. But just to try really quick the advanced features of the Vice DS. All right, at first glance, we probably have a couple of frequencies to tame a little bit. And I say probably one is gonna be around AK. Let's hear it. Yeah, exactly. So that one is the first one. Then we have something at the very, very top. So let's turn this off. Yeah, let's start from 9K and on. On the high filter, we have some really fast events. We want to catch them, but we don't want to create extra distortion. And also, we want to maintain this very modern top end that we have. So let's start with the threshold. Which is already too much. So let's open this one and let's keep an attack about two milliseconds, all right? I'd really wanna catch those. And let's keep the release, the fast release, a little slower and the average release a little slower as well. So we do eight and 15 milliseconds, all right? And then we have the ratio. I kinda want to clamp those down, so I'm trying to go a little higher, like three ratio. And I want a little bit of soft knee. Not too much because I wanna precisely catch those events and not grab like the vocals all right so let's let's hear with this one okay i'm grabbing exactly what i want i don't feel like i'm dsing enough so i'm just gonna go up with the ratio and see how it works It's definitely better. Let's try without. It's definitely better. It might be a little too much, the S scene, but for now I'm not gonna touch the parallel mix because the parallel mix affects both filters. Let's work on the other filter and let's see where we get. So I'm gonna turn this off, turn this on. For this one, I'm gonna limit the range just for safety at about 7 dB, 8 dB. And then let's go into the panel. All right, let's try instead with this one to go the opposite way. Let's go a little lower with the threshold because for this filter, I kind of want to try to keep it always down and with not too much swing. So let's try 1.4 and let's try with a soft knee so I can release the threshold a little bit. Cool, you see the behavior from the gain reduction meter. You should be able to hear it, but this is kind of advanced here training. So if, you, so if you're still learning to look at the gain reduction meter, it's actually used, the action is a lot smoother than the top filter. If we put that one on, you can see how they react differently.
one is sketching is really fast to go back and the other one is kind of mellow and keeps everything in that AK range down. Let's keep adjusting because I want a little more ratio there and maybe I can up the threshold a little more. I'm gonna try to leave the attack a little slower, let's say eight millisecond. And then the fast attack, let's keep it fast, but the average, let's go slower, 15 milliseconds. And even slower, 20, that one, the slow one. I think this is a good compromise. Let's try it with and without. Without first. With. I feel like I can probably go a little more here. Let's do 10 dB range in gain reduction. And probably I can go a little more with the threshold. And now I can give a little back, like 80% on the mix. All right, there would be more things to do, but I think for the purpose of the video, we dig enough into this module. And like I said, I've already mastered this song. Of course, there was a lot of hardware involved, but if you wanna hear the final result, the link is gonna be in the info box down below. I hope this video on the in-depth features of the Vice Mastering DSR was useful. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like and share. If you wanna learn mix and mastering in-depth, click the join button, become a Mixbus TV member. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. So